Hello everyone, myself Ajit Kumar Sri, uh, technical seminar presentation on WaterNet, a network for monitoring and assessing water quality for drinking and irrigation purpose uh, under the guidance of Professor Santosh Kumar S. Contents, introduction, literature, uh, history of technology, proposed methodology, result, uh, application, conclusion, references. Introduction. Water is a fundamental requirement for human, animal, and plant survival. Despite its important quality, water is not always fit for drinking, domestic, or industrial use. Numerous factors such as industrialization, mining, pollution, and natural occurrences impact the quality of water. The World Health Organization has guidelines which stipulate the threshold levels of various parameters present in water samples intended for consumption or irrigation. Um, collecting water samples from different sources, measuring the various parameters present and benchmark this measurement against preset standards while adhering to other guidelines during transportation and measurements can be extremely daunting. To this end, this study purpose uh, a network architecture to collect data on water parameters in real time and use machine learning tools to automatically determine sustainability of water samples for drinking and irrigation purposes. The developed monitoring network is based on LoRa and takes the land topology into consideration. Due to the absence of large and open data set on uh, drinking and irrigation water, data sets usable for training ML models are developed. Three uh, ML models, random forest, logist, uh, logistic recursion, and support vector mission were considered for water classification process and result obtained showed that uh, LR performed best for drinking water while SVM was better situa situa situated for irrigation, irrigation water. History of technology. WaterNet is a modern technology developed to monitor and access water quality for drinking and irrigation purposes. The development of WaterNet is driven by the go, uh, growing demand for sustainable water management practices and the increases, increasing concern about water pollution. The history of WaterNet can be tracked back to the early development of water quality monitoring systems in the late 19th, 1990s and early 2000s. Researchers began exploring the use of wireless sensors network for monitoring water quality. These systems use small low power sensors that could be placed in waterways and transmit uh, uh, data wirelessly uh, to, the, to a center server for analysis. Waternet, uh, Waternet was developed during this time as a network of sensors and data analytics tool designed to monitor and assess water quality for drinking and irrigation purpose. The system uses a network of sensors placed in waterways. So, Collect data on key water quality parameters such as temperature, pH, uh, dissolved oxygen, and turbidity. This data is then transmitted to a certain uh, uh, transmitted to a central server for analysis, where it where it can be used to identify uh, potential water quality issues and inform management decisions. WaterNet continues to evolve with new sensors and data analytics tool begin being developed. Uh, to improve its capabilities. The, uh, the technology behind WaterNet is helping to transform the way water resources are managed by pro providing real-time data and uh, insights into water quality issues that were previously difficult to detect. Next, proposed methodology. In this layer, there are four uh, different layers. First, as sensing layer. As, this, as depicted in the figure, the sensing layer interacts directly into the water samples in, in a river, stream, dams, etc. to measure water parameters. It is, built a, it is built into a vertical pole tag sensor probe and consists of numerous sensors uh, bundled together. These sensors might include pH, conductivity, turbidity, temperature, residual, chlorine, etc. All temporary data measured by these uh, sensors are sent to the fog nodes wide or wirelessly via the sending unit. Where installing sensors in water sources is extremely difficult of when the required sensors are not readily available. Water parameters readings can be collected from the associated water treatment plants. Next is edge layer. This edge layer consists of two hand process devices, processing devices. 
where is called as edge modules such as single board computers example raspberry pi jetson or microcontrollers example arduino esp32 these devices acts as a data pre processing units as much responsible for collection aggregation filtration and shaping up data received from the sensing layer and next one is network gateway to ferry tem tem telemetry data to the fns through 3g or 5g uh, a cellular or other low powered long range network solutions this was the block diagram and next layer was fog or cloud layer fog fog nodes these are small size of distributed cloud computing nodes that brings computing and storage closer to the data source the fn is responsible for responsible for classification of water samples using machine learning models such as the ones proposed this work due to the due to the limited computing power at the fog when compared to the cloud only the most influential parameters need to be considered when classifying water samples uh, when long term storage and our advanced computations are required which are belong belong beyond the fog's capacity data are forwarded to the cloud's data center where cloud data center the cloud is uh, is a remote high performance computing infrastructure which provides computing on demand uh, in our system the cloud serves as a data warehouse as well as a, a platform for performing adva advanced data analytic dashboarding and hosting for relevant services and software next one is application layer serves as an interface between the users and uh, software services running in the cloud relevant software for water parameters monitoring uh, are hosted at this layer and made available to users through mobile and web platforms next is results so our results are presented in two phases the first phase first focus on the results of water monitoring network while the second focus on assessing water quality for drinking and irrigation purposes using ml it is ex expected that water net would provide data about uh, water parameters however for this uh, work and uh, as discussed earlier we used hypothetical data sets cor uh, corrected data from existing data set on the internet the subsection present the results of the data correction process next this was the results next uh, conclusion waternet has uh, potential to be powerful tool for monitoring and assessing water quality for drinking and irrigation purposes uh, by collecting and analyzing data on various water quality parameters uh, this network could help identify potential issues with water sources before they become a serious health or environment concern and could uh, lead to more efficient and effective management of water resources the use of advanced technologies such as wireless sensors and iot devices can enable real time data collection and transmission allowing for timely detection and response to water quality issues the integration of machine learning and data analytics can also enhance the accuracy and the efficiency of data analysis improving the overall effectiveness of water net improving the water quality and management for drinking and irrigation purposes so these are the applications water net as a as a wide range of applications for monitoring and assessing water quality for drinking and irrigation purposes here are here are the some of the key applications whereas drinking uh, water treatment irrigation management uh, pollution control and uh, early warning systems uh, industrial water management environmental monitoring classification occurrence of drinking water so these are the references then thank you